So I know a lot of you have been seeing my videos where I have to dig really deep to get to these septic tanks. And I will tell you, I always recommend installing risers after you dig up the lids. And of course, we do recommend pumping out your septic system every three to five years, sometimes sooner, depending on the household. So you will save a ton in the long run from paying somebody to have to dig up and locate your tank. If there's ever a case where it's backing up, you have direct access to the inlet where nine times out of 10, that's where the clog is. You're able to inspect the tank easier without having to dig it up. It's just more peace of mind. So I have some good news. This video today is sponsored by WholesaleSepticSupply.com. They have these kits online available for homeowners that provide everything you would need to install the risers on the septic tank yourself. They sent me a kit, so I'm gonna try it out on a install today, and I'm gonna walk you through how to do it yourself. After watching this video, if you wanna install these risers yourself, click the link down below, I'll provide it, and they will take you to Wholesale Septic Supply. And alongside risers, they also offer a number of different aerobic and conventional septic parts. So check out their website, and let's get into the video. So we've got our septic tank right here. It's not too terribly deep, but the customer does want risers on it. So you can always find the septic tank if you don't have the uh, plans on it. Most of the time by finding this dead spot right here, you see all this nice <laughs> grass right there and then this very obvious dead spot right here. So we're gonna get these lids dug up. There's gonna be an inlet over here and an outlet over here. You can even see the handle on that one. So before you order the risers online, the first thing you wanna do is locate and dig up the septic tank lids. Now here in Texas, if you're on a conventional system, which is a gravity system that goes out into a leach field, your tank probably has two to three lids. Here in Central Texas, where I'm at, most of them are a thousand gallon tanks with two compartments. So we have the septic tank right here. I'm gonna dig it up. It's not, it's not too deep, so we don't have to worry about that. Caulk around the lid. So there's our first lid, that's the inlet. And this looks like it's a 20 inch cap we got here. All right, so we've got our septic tank lid exposed right here. This is a 20 inch lid. Now they offer 16, 20 and 24 inch riser sets. So what you wanna do is once you find the lid, pop it open. There's our inlet right there. And you wanna get a tape measure and measure across. Now, we're lucky that most of the septic tank lids here are round, but if you have a square or a rectangular lid, you wanna measure across from the longest part. Measure how long that is, and then they actually have a chart on wholesale septic supply that can refer you to which size you need to get based off the length across the lid. So for this case right here, we've got the 20 inch riser kit. So this is our tank adapter right here. This is on the 20 inch kit. And you will see that it's actually a little bigger than 20 inches because it goes on the outside of the lid right there. So if you're digging ahead of time, you wanna make sure you adjust for that. So this is the 20 by eight inch riser kit. It's gonna come with your 20 inch tank adapter we got our six inch extension right here and we've got the lid so in total that's going to be eight inches up to the surface from the tank i'm going to do a little extra prep and i'm going to go ahead and get a wire brush right here to kind of just clean up where i'm going to drop this riser so we've got this nice spot for us to put our riser now so we're going to put it together what I usually do for good measure too is when I got the hole dug up, I'll go ahead and just get the tank adapter like that. Make sure I've got it all lined up nice. Sometimes you have to make the hole a little bigger. So you don't want to do that once you've already got everything put together. So make sure it'll fit first before you start getting out the ceiling and everything. So now that we get, made sure that this is adequate enough to get this tank riser in there, we're going to start piecing it together. So remember I told you you want to match the screw holes and we're gonna make a gasket. This doesn't have a gasket right here to prevent water, roots, things like that from getting in there. 
we're going to use the provided sealant from wholesale septic and we're going to make us a gasket so i've got that ready to go and we're going to squeeze this out here looks like that little black tar stuff so you just got a nice ring in there doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to start squeezing together once you get this put together so we got that bead going spin that around and there we got it we got it all the way wrapped around the tank right there so now what we're gonna do we're gonna match up those screw holes so, squeeze that down, and now we're going to screw it together. So I've seen some people have some difficulty trying to get these screws in. What I usually do is I'll get it right there and kind of angle it, and then press down. And we got that going all the way through, so I'm going to work my way around and get all these screwed down to the tank adapter. Going at a slight angle like I'm doing right now, you shouldn't have to worry about trying to get it all the way down. And I just want to get that snug down there. I'm not trying to strip the screws. If there's ever an instance where I have to trial and pull this back apart so there we got it we got screws our riser is now secured to the tank adapter with a gasket so it's sealed off and now we're gonna flip this around dust it off if there's anything on there and we're gonna use that same sealant we used to make the gasket to secure this to the tank so get all that around right here doesn't have to be pretty just make sure you get it all the way around this tank adapter here I'm gonna go ahead and use all of this bottle right here just to be safe. I'm gonna work from the inside out. All right, so we are now empty. Now that we got our sealant onto the tank adapter, we're gonna go ahead and put this onto the opening of the septic tank. So you wanna make sure you got that centered real nice. If you're a little off, that's okay. We can wiggle this around before it sets and press down. You can see that sealant working its way in here. Press that down real good. And you wanna make sure the lid is removed before you do this because you can see these notches right here. When you try to pick up that lid, you're gonna bump into these. So make sure you remove the lid before you set the tank adapter. And there we go. And we have our lid right here that does have a gasket. There's our concrete lid right there being used as a tripod. But usually you don't wanna have to bend over and keep pulling out those concrete lids right there. So for this install right here, we're actually gonna put a safety 
pan or safety lid, whatever you want to call it. These are also available on wholesale septic. So those line up with these tabs right here and they have little screw holes. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that concrete lid right there and just use this secondary safety lid. So don't have to worry about if ever this lid gives, they're really sturdy. So you probably won't have to worry about that. But just over the years, you've got the secondary safety lid. So it's got the opening right there. I'm going to match that up, put the safety screw down just enough to get it snug right there. I'm not trying to strip this. And voila, there's our lid. And we're gonna add some dirt back around this tank adapter to kind of help it set right here. When you're sizing for these risers, you wanna make sure you have it sticking up high enough to where you still have access to these screws. I've seen a lot of times people make it right to grade and then you have to worry about grass growing around the lids and when you pop the lid off you got to worry about dirt getting into these screw holes and then it's a pain in the ass to try and get the lid back on so I always advise just leave a little wiggle room um, above the surface that way you don't have to worry about dirt getting in the screw holes so that's what we're doing right here There we have it. Successful riser install and this thing ain't going anywhere. So that's the inlet side. We're gonna work our way over here and do the outlet side now. I generally advise risers on both of the lids, but if you had to pick one, definitely pick the inlet side. This is one of the most important parts of the septic tank that you can have access to. One being your clean out, two being the inlet side of your septic tank. If your septic tank is ever backing up, nine times out of 10, the clog is right here in this inlet baffle. So most of the time that's due to it needing to be pumped. You got a severe, severely thick floating scum layer. So if ever the case you're backing up, you could just pop, a, use a stick or something and pop that down until a septic pumper is able to come pump out the tank. got our tank lid secured don't have to worry about that going anywhere don't have to worry about anybody popping into the septic tank on accident these will save you money in the long run nowadays most septic pumpers won't even show up to pump out your septic tank if you don't have access to them so and like I was telling you earlier most people don't know where the septic tank is and if they do know where it is it may be buried anywhere from couple inches to possibly three feet a lot of people don't have the time or just don't want to dig it up themselves so we come in and we charge to locate and dig up the lids to the septic tank as well as pump it out that's i mean that's the way it is so if you want to save money from digging and you want to have easy access in case of emergency these are the way to go they're saving money in the long run and just have more peace of mind you know where your septic system is you don't have to worry about somebody driving over them because it's hard to miss these green dome lids sticking out of the ground so i hope that shows you that it's really not that difficult to install uh, this is the method that is uh, recommended by wholesale septic supply i know there's different methods to mount the riser to the septic tank i've seen people concrete them down uh, most precast companies now actually have the uh riser installed on the concrete septic tank so most new tanks are coming out uh, with this so you just have to add the extensions to bring it to grade these are a great investment and you can do it yourself i hope that shows you that it's not that hard uh how long did that take me to put both of these in 11 minutes 11 minutes each of them right <laughs> i 
I've come across it before where the septic tank is a lot deeper. So that is probably the bulk of your time is digging up the lids. Um, but putting the riser in itself, fairly easy. So I want to give a quick thank you to Wholesale Septic Supply for sponsoring the video. And if you want to buy a septic tank riser kit yourself, I'll include the link in the description below. It's not that hard. I hope this showed you that. And I'm telling you, it's a great investment. So go out and do it. Good luck. Thanks for watching.